Mindful Life Practice Community. And this class today is a Mindful Flow one, so it's accessible to all levels. Um, it will be uh, gentle, but a good practice. And I want to play this playlist for you all, which I made last week. So some of you have heard it already. Um, it was a playlist. Oh my God, Spotify says couldn't find that playlist. What? Maybe I'm not playing you guys this playlist. It appears to be gone. Um, let's see. Might not have any music. That's okay. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna let go of my uh, desire to have music. All right, <laughs> we're gonna have a come to a cross-legged shape, a cross-legged seated shape. Actually, I was um, I was sitting at home and I was watching the and the and just like that, um, which is the Sex in the City reboot, and we don't have it in the UAE. Like it's blocked. Um, you have to have you know UK thing or Canada thing. Anyway, so I've been messing around with getting my VPN on and off, trying to make it work, trying to get the show to work. I finally got it working. And then my friend Ryan called me and then flipping it. So anyway, the point is, I feel like my Spotify might not be working because I've been uh, fiddling around with things on the computer. But anyway, it's all good because I think that sometimes we get what we need and what not what we want. So maybe what we need is a little bit of silence today. So let's come to a comfortable cross-legged shape. And anchor through your sits bones and lengthen through your spine and soften through your shoulders. And we're going to focus on how we're breathing right now. So a lot of human beings breathe vertically. And what that means is we're lifting our shoulders as we breathe in and out. But I want to invite you today to try to breathe horizontally. Okay, so what that means is that you're expanding through your rib cage. You're filling up your rib cage with air, almost like a barrel that's like expanding. And try to make your breaths a little bit slower and a little bit more even and a little bit deeper. And no matter what is going on with you, whether it's your busy mind about to-do lists or things you're worried about or things you're anxious about, I invite you to just come back to this anchor of being inhale here. And then exhale now. Inhale here. Exhale now. Keep connecting to your breath letting it be an anchor to this moment. And then set an intention. And I was just reading Audrey's class description before this class started. And I love her intention, which is about beginning. Beginning the day, beginning the week, beginning the year, whatever you are beginning right now. So maybe your intention right now is just to begin again. Now let's take one more breath, 
simply and sweetly as we are in this moment. And then invite a bit of movement with this moment. So we're gonna inhale, lift our arms up towards the sky. And then just exhale our palms through heart center. And then we'll do this a few more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms through heart center. One more inhale, arms up. And then just exhale, land your right palm, lift the left arm over towards the right. You got it. And then lift all the way up. And then land the left palm and reach the right palm over to the left. And let's just flow a few times like this. And then come all the way through center. And we're gonna move into some spinal twists. So inhale, arms up, and then exhale, land your left palm on the right knee, land the right fingertips behind you, gaze over the right shoulder, and then lift the arms all the way up and pivot the opposite way. And then keep flowing with your breath. So I'm not sure how many of you are watching the Sex and the City reboot. It's like a really big struggle as an expat to try and get access to these shows overseas. And actually my friend who I'm staying with knows how to torrent stuff. So when he was here, I was able to watch last week's episode, but problem is the UAE blocks VPNs. Anyway, the reason I really want to watch this one is because I heard that a drinking problem gets addressed, which is really, really cool because I feel that that's one of the first times on television that a drinking problem is being depicted as it is. Let's take one more breath and then lift the arms up and then take the palms into heart center. And we're gonna come onto the hands and the knees and move through a few cat towels. So I think there's like two types of drinking that are portrayed on TV shows. It's either like, you know, you're on the one end of what is commonly referred to like having a serious problem or you're just a regular drinker, right? And there's not really an in-between. And we all know that there is an in-between, right? And, and there's so many different variations and experiences and anyway I love that they're bringing it into to pop culture in this story with one of the characters in the Sex and the City so I was really excited because I heard this was the episode spent two hours trying to get it to play on my computer I'm not sure if I'm going to get it in the end before Gabe gets home and I can get him to download it for me anyway let's come all the way through center just leave your left palm reach the right arm up and then thread the right arm under and land onto the right shoulder and maybe you're on the right cheek and maybe you're lifting the left arm around and hooking it near the hip. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't wanna break his TV <laughs> while he's away trying to figure out how to download it. Take one more breath. And then we're gonna unwind and land your left palm and then land your right palm. And then go the opposite way. So lift the left arm up, big breath in. And then thread the left arm under, come onto the cheek, come onto the shoulder. Maybe you take the right arm around and hook it near the hip and then just take a few breaths. And then can you slowly unwind and land both palms, come all the way into a neutral 
and then leave your right knee where it is and extend your left leg behind you and then lift your right arm up in front of you. And then take a breath in, stay where you are. And then exhale your elbow to your knee and we'll just do this a few times. Good, take one more inhale, length and long. One more exhale, curl inward and then breathe your body, lengthen. And now perhaps you kick your left foot back and maybe you take your right foot and perhaps it attaches to your left ankle and you just open through your heart to see how that feels in your body. Know that everything provided is like an option. Amazing. And it's all what works for you. So just kind of find what feels good. Take one more breath. And then release your hand, release your knee and come all the way back into a table. And now we're going to take our right toes off the side of the mat now. So just pivot the right toes, lengthen the left leg long, and then lift the left arm up overhead. So this is your gate pose. And you're going to breathe into your left side of your rib cage. Okay, take one more breath. And then just come all the way forward with both palms. And then let's go the opposite way. So we're going to extend the, I believe it's the right leg and the left arm, right? Yeah, take an inhale and then exhale elbow to knee. Now I'm gonna tell you something about my rights and lefts. I did not know my rights and lefts until I became a yoga teacher. They were very difficult for me. <laughs> I even turned my mom's car into oncoming traffic one day when I was learning to drive because she told me to turn left and I turned right or something like that. Anyway, I realized when I was a yoga teacher that I was going to have to learn rights and lefts. And I figured out a way to learn them. <laughs> we're going to extend the arm and extend the leg and then kick the right foot back, kick the left foot back and maybe make a connection, open your heart. So anyway, my mom came to my yoga class for the first time in Kuwait. And now my mom is like a pro yogi, by the way, she's just done two classes in one day. <laughs> but my mom came out of the class and she, she was like, I can't believe that you know your rights and lefts. So that's amazing. <laughs> that was her feedback for me after coming to my class, <laughs> but I still mix them up from time to time, right? <laughs> okay, release the hand, release the foot, and now just land your knee on the mat, and you're going to take your left toes off the side of the mat and then go the opposite way. So your right leg goes nice and long, and your right arm lifts up, and then you breathe through the left side rib cage. Good, take one more breath. And then just land your right palm alongside your left palm. So you come back into a tabletop. And now we're gonna tuck our toes and lift all the way up and back to a down dog. So your hips are reaching up towards the sky and there's an extension through the heels, extension through the calves. And now I invite you to walk your hands back towards your feet so you find a forward fold just hang out there
Now take an inhale, halfway lift. Fingertips brush the shins. Yeah, you got it. Exhale, fold. And then when you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. So you circle your palms up overhead and then gather your palms in your heart center and give your body just one moment to pause. Now release the hands alongside the hips and just walk your feet slowly to the front of your mat or your yoga space. And then eventually you're gonna find yourself standing at the front of your yoga space. And now I am going to invite you to just kind of flip flop back and forth like you're a kid standing in line. Remember when I used to be a teacher. Feels like such a distance past. I ran into one of my former students who he left my class six years ago and I, no, six years ago, six months ago, sorry. I couldn't even remember his name. <laughs> Funny things you think you'll never forget, like Tid's name that you're constantly like repeating who was misbehaving and then you see him and you're like, what is his name again? Anyway, take one more breath <laughs> and then come all the way to center. And now you're like this water glass that's been shook up and shook up and shook up and stirred up and stirred up and stirred up with water. And now as you drop into stillness, the sand settles and the water clears. The sand begins to settle and the water clears. Take an inhale, lift both arms up towards the sky, look up. Take an exhale, fold, hinge the body forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale to lower, leave the right foot where it is, step the left foot all the way back, and then we're just gonna rock forward and back. Yeah, you look great. And then arrive in stillness and lift the arms up towards the sky and then have energy and intention through the arms, yet a softness through your shoulders. Yeah, you got it. Amazing. So one of the things that we do every year at the Mindful Life Practice is we, at the very end of the year, we share the top 10 most attended clients. So members who have attended the most classes in the year. And surprisingly, my mom had like 240, even though she had fractured her wrist at one point in the year, which was like very impressive. So I feel like it's the start of the year and everyone's like gearing up to try and get on that top 10 list again. <laughs> I know Tasha was on it in 2020 and then she wasn't this year. And she said it's her, it's her 2022 goal to get back on the list. <laughs> but as our community grows, we should really evolve it into a top 20, shouldn't we? Okay, take one more breath, staying still. And now bring your palms into your heart center and anchor the palms together. See if you can tiptoe, shift weight onto the right foot, extend the left leg behind you, find your warrior three. Yeah, you look great. So it's like this uppercase T with the body. Good, take one more breath. And then step the right foot all the way back. Sorry, left, that's the left foot. And then open the arms. Left palm is back, right palm is forward. Of course, when I brag about my left and right skills, then I start messing them up. <laughs> okay, can you arrive in stillness for a moment here? And then show... For example, the strongest and sturdiest warrior two, and then allow it to be the softest and gentlest warrior two. And then can you find the middle between these two polarities of the experience, the human experience, so strong and soft. 
and then flow with your breath. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale the elbow to the knee. You know, it's kind of nice having no music in these classes. When I first started the Mindful Life practice, we actually had no music at all. And that was because I could not figure out how to share the music on Zoom. <laughs> and there's like something really beautiful and grounding about silence, right? Other than my chattery voice going off in the background telling you random stories. <laughs> there's something very grounding about silence, isn't there? Now let's just do one more. And then come all the way back up, lengthen the right leg, reach the right arm as far forward as you can, clock the right arm alongside the right calf, lift the left arm up. Yeah, yeah, you guys look great. So this is your trikonasana. Yeah, exactly. Fingertips stretch all the way, right? Fingertips all the way through left. And then can you shift weight onto your right foot and right fingertips coming up into your half moon, holding here for three, for two. And then on one, we're just gonna come all the way up to stand and anchor through both feet and press the palms together and take a full breath in. And then a full breath out. Another full breath in. Another full breath out. Now allow the left foot to stay staying anchored on the mat. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna open our right knee to the side, plant the right foot either on the ankle or the shin or maybe on the thigh, and then just connect the palms together knowing that if you wobble or you fall this is part of the journey this is part of life right and if you fall or make mistakes you are still a good person and then allow the right foot to be alongside the left Take an inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky, look up. And then exhale, fold. And we're just gonna do the opposite side. So inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, lower back down, leave your left foot where it is. Step the right foot all the way back and you can rock forward and back. And then again, press through the feet and lift the arms up. This is your crescent lunge. Can you find the middle? The middle between effort and ease, between strength and surrender, between soft and strong. And as the body finds the middle, the mind finds the moment. The body steps into the middle. The mind steps into the moment. Let's allow the palms to gather and connect at the heart center. Trust that the left foot will hold us, lift off, extend the right leg, find this uppercase T, have a lift through your heart, connect to that deep breath. And know that whatever is coming up, any distractions, any worries, any thoughts, let them just flow through you, right? You're not doing yoga wrong. You just have a human brain and human brains are born to think. <laughs> So if you're thinking, just acknowledge those thoughts, greet them and then let them go. Take one more breath where you are 
and then step all the way back and expand open so your right arm reaches back left arm reaches forward again find the middle the peace of the middle the silence of the middle the stillness of the middle and is there wisdom in the middle is there wisdom in the present moment Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, the elbow to the knee. And then just do this a few times. Perhaps just moving one more time. And then lift all the way up, lengthen the left leg, shorten the stance, reach the left arm forward, clock the left arm alongside the left calf, lift the right arm up. This is the tree Konasana. And then from tree Konasana, can you shift weight onto the left foot? Lift the right leg, knowing that if you fall, you're still a good person. Take one more breath. And then come all the way up to stand, right foot alongside, left palms together. Let this be your mountain moment. And just check in with yourself. Has anything shifted? Has anything moved? Has anything transformed? Since you started this practice and maybe not, and that's okay. Don't have to achieve anything by being here. Just being here is enough. Now we'll journey through one more tree pose. And I think... We had our left foot down last time. So I think it's your right foot anchored on the mat. Left foot up. Of course, in the class where I'm like, yeah, I've learned my lefts and rights. Then I just like can't remember them through the whole class. <laughs> so I love tree pose. And one of my yoga teachers gave this metaphor for trees. He said that when a tree doesn't grow, we don't blame the tree, we blame the environment, right? Palm tree wouldn't grow in Canada, a Christmas tree wouldn't go grow in Dubai. Yeah, so we need to be in the right environment to thrive. And I think the same is true for human beings. And we don't realize how much someone's environment might impact who they are. And sometimes we need to leave and move and shift to, to find ourselves. And that's okay. It's all part of the process and the journey of, of life. Let's take one more breath where we are and then just land the left foot. Take an inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky and then exhale, fold and just hang out here for a few breaths and grip opposite elbows, let your head dangle. Good, and just chill out there for a few breaths. It's the interesting thing about working in Dubai is that it's four hours time difference from Bali, but four hours makes a real difference in comparison with the rest of the world. And so I find when I'm here in Dubai, I have to work a lot of late nights, like up until right now it's 10 p.m. <laughs> 
And when I'm in Bali, I work a lot more early mornings, which is nice for a sober person, I think. Both are good for a sober person. Keeps me busy during drinking times, keeps me waking up during times when I would have been hungover. <laughs> Let's release the palms and then take an inhale halfway lift. So lengthen through your heart. And then exhale to lower back down and land the palms and just step the feet back all the way back to a down dog. We didn't do a lot of down dogs today, did we? Here's your down dog. Leave the left foot where it is. Let's lift the right leg up. And then what we're gonna do is draw our right knee in and then lay the right shin across the width of the mat, snuggle the left knee back. So this is pigeon pose. Yep, so yeah, exactly. You got it, perfect. Now, if anyone has any knee pain, you can also do this pose on your back. Just give me a little wave and I can show you the version on your back if anyone would like to be guided there. Nice, and then we're gonna slowly come all the way down onto the elbows. So part of life of being an expat is that you're often leaving people behind. And I remember this happening when I was living in Kuwait. One of my friends decided to move on from Kuwait because they really wanted to meet their soulmate and they had been in Kuwait for quite a few years and they hadn't met their person and so they thought maybe a different country would be good for them and I remember some friends of mine you know writing a letter and trying to convince this person to stay and they ended up staying for an extra year because of this letter that someone else sent that they didn't want them to leave and then they left a year later. <laughs> and I've been in the UAE now for four years. And I, you know, I've been getting messages from people who, who don't want me to leave. People who say, you know, life is so much better here. Would you really want to live in Bali? Bali's a nice place, vacation, but it's not a pl nice place to live. That's what one person said to me. And... I think there's something that all of us have, which is like this inner knowing, right? This gut. We have this gut knowing of what is right for us. And it's probably wrong for someone else, right? Anyone who's choose, chosen to set up a life in Dubai or Abu Dhabi probably wouldn't want to live in Bali <laughs> because they want to be in a big city with lots to do, right? Bali is not a city. Nothing is higher than two stories. <laughs> but it is where I want to be, right? And so what is important for me, what is a priority for me is going to be different for what's a priority for someone else. And that's okay. But I think one of the most important things that we have to do when we love people is be able to let them go, right? Allow them to follow their souls and, and support them because... their soul is, is more important than our selfishness. I have this beautiful poem by Melody Beattie that I've shared a few times in the past couple of days. So if you're a yoga addict and you've been to my class recently, I apologize, you've probably heard it before. <laughs> But I love this poem and I'll tell you where I found it. Someone that I worked, that I was my classmate in school, a lot of us signed international jobs. It was really common to graduate out of teacher's college in Canada and, and move overseas because there aren't a lot of jobs for teachers in Canada. Anyway, one of my classmates' moms posted this on her Facebook wall when she signed a job in Belgium and, uh, and I screenshotted it. I've had it for years because I love it, but I'm not going to make you hold this pose for any longer. I'm going to read it to you on the other side. So let's lift up <laughs> and then come back to your down dog. 
and then go the opposite way. So take the left leg up and then pull the left knee in, lay the shin across the width of the mat and snuggle the knee back and then come forward. Beginnings can be delicate or explosive. They can start almost invisibly or arrive with a big bang. Beginnings hold the promise of new lessons to be learned, new territory to be explored, and old lessons to be recalled, practiced, appreciated. Beginnings hold ambiguity, promise, fear, and hope. Don't let the lessons, experiences of the past dampen your enthusiasm for beginnings. Just because it's been hard doesn't mean that it will always be difficult. Don't let the heartbreaks of the past cause you to become cynical, close you off to life's magic and promise. Open yourself wide to all that the universe has to say. Let yourself begin anew. Pack your bags and choose carefully what you bring because packing is an important ritual. Take along some humility and lessons of the past. Toss in some curiosity and excitement and what you haven't yet learned. Say your goodbyes to those you're leaving behind. Don't worry who you will meet or where you will go. The way has been prepared and the people you are to meet will be expecting you. A new journey has begun. Let it be magical, let it unfold. All parts of the journey are sacred and holy. Take time now to honor the beginning. Take one more breath in this pigeon pose. And then I'm gonna invite you to come all the way up and just send your leg around. So you come into seated and we're gonna press the soles of the feet together. Hopefully you guys can see me and then lengthen through the heart, take a big inhale and then come all the way forward onto the elbows. Take one more breath in, one more breath out, and then just gently roll all the way up to seated and come into a crisscross shape. We're gonna do one more thing before we roll onto the spine. So I'm just gonna come closer so you can see me. So I'm gonna invite you to take your hand and take your peace fingers, the fingers you'd use to make a peace sign and place them over your third eye so the space between your eyebrows. And then plug your right nostril with your right thumb and inhale through your left nostril. Plug your left nostril, exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Plug your right nostril, exhale through your left. Inhale left. Plug 
plug and then exhale right. Keep going like this. Take one more round of breath. Finish this by exhaling through your left nostril. And then just land your right palm back on the knee and take a normal breath in. Normal breath out. Normal breath in. Normal breath out. And then you might choose to just stay seated in meditation if you're comfortable or rest on the back. Letting whatever shape you choose be a container. Rest into that container knowing that I'm going to bring you back when the time is up.
Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird fly. Blackbird fly. Into the light of the dark black night. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Just give your body a bit of a wake up wiggle. Nice long stretch from your fingers all the way through your toes. You can curl your knees into your chest. Give your body a little hug. And if you're on your spine, you can just come meet us and seated. Let's take our palms to our heart center. We're gonna take a breath in for Yasser, who joins us from Abu Dhabi. Breath in for my mom, who I got to see twice today. in Canada. Breath in for Susan, who is a friend of Gretchen's. I think she's in France. She'll have to confirm that. Breath in for Marjorie, who also a friend of Gretchen's who joins us from France. Breath in for Lee, who joins us from the States. Breath in for Jules, who is with us from the UK. Breath in for Jess, who's with us from the UK. Breath in for Charlie, who's with us from the UK. Breath in for Celeste, who's in the States. Breath in for me in Dubai. And a breath in for this whole community which sustains and supports us all. And then we close with an intention. It's an ancient intention. It's the original intention. was passed from the heart of my teacher, Rolf, and I pass it onwards from my heart to yours. And it's that our practice remains steady and our efforts remain continuous, that we keep showing up for this practice and that it not only heals us, but that it heals others. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy, be healthy, be free. 
may the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So let's just finish with an ohm sound. We're gonna inhale and exhale, inhale through to make the ohm. So take a big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in. Thank you so much, yogis. I really, really appreciate your presence in this community. Without you, this community would not exist. So thank you for being here. And next week, if you join, you will have the lovely Audrey. <laughs> the light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you. Thank you, yogis. Thanks for being here.